Hey, what's good, 10K gang? Now, today's video, I'm going to be talking about Michael Porter Jr. Now, just yesterday, he was cleared to return to Missouri basketball and play full court contact with his team. Now, if you don't know what happened to Michael Porter Jr., basically, beginning of the season, he had to get surgery on his back because of some odd reason with his spine, and it basically was a season ending injury. Now, as you can see, it did mess up his whole NBA draft stop because he was predicted to go top five in the NBA draft. But now he got injured for nearly most of the season and the season's still not over. He still got a couple games that he can actually show NBA scouts that he can still play and still get drafted and everything. And I just want to give you guys my opinion on should Michael Porter Jr. stay in college or should he enter the NBA draft? Now, first, let's talk about Michael Porter Jr.'s game. Now, he's 6'10", 215 pounds, and before he even committed to Missouri, he was second in the ESPN Top 100 and he was a McDonald's All-American. The thing I like about Michael Porter Jr. is that he's a two-way scorer. Now, he's a very, very long person. He has long length over a lot of defenders because he's 6'10". He can shoot the ball and he can drive the ball and he's not scared of driving into a lot of big defenders. If you just watch certain players play, you can just tell their mindset. In my opinion, I feel like Michael Porter Jr. is very high in the draft stock and everything just because he has that killer mindset and people just... I think people just don't understand and realize how good Michael Porter really is and how good he really can become just because he's a two-way scorer. Like, he know how to shoot the ball. He can shoot the ball very, very well. He can drive the ball in. He's smart. He know how to pass the ball. He can play point guard. He know how to dribble the ball. And the thing about him is that he's very, very extremely fast. When I watch Michael Porter play, he gets down the court like it's nothing, man. He gets that rebound and he just runs straight down the court. He get down the court in a heartbeat. Like, this man is fast and i know that's really going to help him when he get to the next level because that speed is something that a lot of people don't have definitely with his size in my opinion michael porter jr is very gifted man he's fast he's a two-way scorer and he's athletic i didn't even mention that he can really jump like he do a lot of crazy things he know how to dunk he know how to do everything that's what i like about michael porter jr because he know how to do everything and when he got injured man i was just shocked because i was just like dang that was so unexpected just because before he even got injured this man was doing all these crazy dunks for missouri you know when they had their little practice they little scrimmage practice he was doing all these crazy dunks just showing everybody what they got and you know he's the next big thing okay you guys let's do a little comparison now i know you guys remember when kyrie Irving played for duke university he was 6 2 180 pounds he played a couple games then he injured his toe he literally broke his toe and they said it was literally a season ending injury just because you need your toe to run and everything if you don't have any toes you can't do nothing at all you know what i mean so that was a you know a crazy big injury for Kyrie Irving. but as you can see he came back and he still was dogging he still was scoring and doing his thing and nba scouts was looking at him before he got his injury and after his injury he still was doing what he was supposed to do even though duke didn't have that many games left he still was doing what he was supposed to do and he still got nba scouts to look at him and still wanted to draft him in my opinion michael porter jr can do the exact same thing Kyrie Irving did but all he gotta do is come back and just show NBA scouts that he's ready to play at the next level. Before he even got injured, he had a lot of scouts looking at him because he was a high NBA draft prospect, right? Now, as you can see, he's coming back. So, of course, everybody's eyes is going to be on him just because he's a high draft prospect. They want to see if he's going to play better. They want to see if he's going to play worse. Or they want to see if he's going to play the same. You know, all eyes is on him. So, it's his choice that he want to stay at Missouri and play for another year or still enter the NBA draft. Because just know, scouts are still looking at him you know what i mean people still want him but they just seen if he's worth it but this is the thing i'm not going to sit here and be like oh michael porter jr should enter the nba draft and everything it's his choice but in my opinion before i even determine if he should enter the nba draft this year i gotta see him play once again you know missouri they're gonna be playing against kentucky soon i'm not sure if he's playing that game he might play the game after that or whatever but i just gotta see how he played and that will really determine if he's ready you know what i mean honestly that probably won't even determine he's ready because he still gotta get the feel with college basketball you know what i mean he's behind a lot of people he's behind a lot of people because he's been out the entire season but he's been working on his game and everything so you just don't know but we just gotta see for ourselves but i thank you guys for watching please make sure you like and subscribe make sure you press that notification button and take Okay, gang, we out.